art in our community. We have a wealth of it. And this is a great opportunity to show it off. Ms. Jerry Glover with the Amarillo Branch NAACP joins us this morning. Ms. Jerry, how are you doing today? I am fantastic. How are you all? We're doing great. We're doing great. Well, something different. Usually for Black History Month, there's a program, usually with some history, historic connotations to it. This year, you guys decided to do something a little different. Tell us about what it is. We did. We we wanted to do uh, something a little bit different, something that would uh, involve the community a little bit more. Um, so we have decided to have a program on February 25th from uh, 1 to 4 at the Black Historical Cultural Center. That's at 901 North Hayden. And we're going to have a variety of things going on. One of the things, as you mentioned, was uh, local art. We'll have artists who are submitting pieces and we just gave them the theme celebrating history to see what they would come up with. And we already have some really outstanding submissions. Uh, those pieces will be not only uh, available for viewing, but for purchase as well. We're going to have uh, some readings from the community. We're going to have uh, community members come in and read pieces from their favorite Black authors or tell stories about uh, Black historical figures and uh, just an opportunity for, for again, uh, a variety of community members to be involved and um, be able to showcase some of their favorite things about Black History Month. Um, and then, of course, let's not forget the food because, uh, right. you know, we, we got to feed. We got to feed. So we will have uh, chopped brisket sandwich plates uh, available for sale, and those are going to be $15. And then we'll have some desserts available for sale as well. So um, just a, an opportunity for people to come out and support the branch. That money will be used to help our members get to uh, Las Vegas for National Convention this year. So um, those uh, delegates that will be going and representing uh, the Texas panhandle out there will will need to get money together to make that happen for them. So, Well, you are encouraging any and all to come and be a part of this. And, you know, I know some local artists that may not know about this. Is it too late to um, submit a piece? Absolutely not. We will take submissions up to the day of. So people are just welcome to uh, reach out to me or to uh, Melody Graves and um, either one of us would be happy to to talk with them or to accept their submissions or they can bring their submissions. Um, you know, it, like I said, the day of, we'd just be happy to have them. Now, you know, you're talking about the submissions. We're really not ta necessarily talking about paintings and stuff like that. Uh, any form of art is really acceptable, correct? Correct. We, if they are sculptors, we would love to have that. If they mm -hmm. are jewelry artists, we would love to have that. Um, paintings are certainly uh, welcome. Uh, digital art is another really popular um, medium that people are using. So just whatever sort of medium people operate in, we would love to have it there. Again, not only for display, but for sale as well to support these local artists and, and what they do. Yeah, and that's something I think we, we, we need to uh, 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 kind of highlight. Some of these pieces will be available for sale, and then there will be some that are just for showing, correct? That there may be some artists, yes, that just want to display their art and and are not interested in selling those pieces necessarily, which is fine too. We just want um, we just want to highlight our community this year and really, um, I, I guess in a way, my view of it was was show what part of Black history you know this community will play in the future because people we will one day be someone's history. Yeah. Right. And I think that's a great thing. I, I'm going to actually display some of my uncle's oh, paintings okay. and sculptures. Uh, I, I don't want to sell any of them, uh, but sure. uh, uh, just to the born, uh, not born here, but uh, spent a, a part of his life here growing up and was influenced by uh, some of the, the scenery and the, the West motif of, of West Texas growing up here in Texas his whole life. Uh, he specializes and features uh, different things like. Uh, Everything from uh, Western art mm -hmm. to religious to Native American, uh, some sculpture work. And so I, I'll be submitting some of the, the artwork from uh, 
Tim Lovejoy. Oh, okay. Yeah, my, that'll my. be great. Yeah, Very that'll strong. be fantastic. And we have such a, a wide variety of artists that have um, expressed interest in in submitting. And, and that's one of my favorite things is just to see all of these different styles and what comes from the the artist's talent and their heart to to show, you know, what what they're trying to celebrate this year. Yeah. And, and Ms. Jerry, before I let you go, I, 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 I we, we had this discussion. We have talked to people about this and, and, and some people are confused on what black history is and why, why we celebrate this and why the importance of it is. Uh, t tell us just briefly from, from your standpoint, from your viewpoint, why is this such an important and integral part of our American fabric? Well, I think, um, you know, the, the simplest way to boil it down, and, and this is such, has become almost cliche, but truthfully, Black history is American history. And it's all fine and well to say that. But I think for too long, and even now, uh, right, we see it in the news, how we want to remove the truth uh, about Black history and, and the way things, um, you know, have transpired, what's been done. Um, over the years and, and, and in the past centuries. And we want to somehow make ourselves, I think, feel a little bit better about that by not telling the truth always or, or sort of dummying down history because um, we're afraid of, of that part of ourselves and what's come. But, you know, it's, it's never a truer statement. If you don't understand and know your history, you're doomed to repeat it. And right. We cannot afford to uh, repeat uh, that that part of our history. We need to know it. We need to understand it. We need to embrace it. And so, for me, that's that's why Black History Month is so very important. And uh, it's just it's something that we all need to to celebrate those parts of our history that don't get highlighted every 4th of July or every uh, Memorial Day or every, it, you know, that we just, we have plenty of holidays to celebrate history otherwise, but we, we need to focus on uh, the black community. We have Native of, uh, American History Month. You know, we have Women's History Month. Those sections of our population that, that are just oftentimes overlooked in their contribution to, to who we are today and who we will be in the future with their continuing contributions. You can be a part of the NAACP's art show. It's going to take place Sunday, February 25th from 1 p.m. until 4 p.m. at the Historical Cultural Center. A uh, lot of activities planned, some great food, some brisket plates, dessert sale. And if you never had one of Miss Jerry's desserts, boy, you don't know what you're missing. It, that's worth the admission, price of admission there. Uh, a gift basket drawing, a 50-50 drawing. If you'd like to submit a piece of artwork for sale or just for display, or if you'd like to do a public reading or whatever your form of autistic expression is it's welcomed here give miss jerry a call at 806-881-6810 or go to the amarillo branch naacp facebook page to find out more information miss jerry thank you so much i look forward to being a part and we'll have you back on to talk a little bit more before the 25th that sounds fantastic thank you so much you are welcome we'll take a quick break and we'll be back to wrap up this edition of the chat on newsday amarillo and News Channel 10 too.